M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So look what we've got here, we've got the Yaesu FT710 and above we've got the program called FT8CN which is a free Android download and this is my Lenovo Android tablet and what you're seeing is the decode of FT8 and here is the frequency. At the moment we're using Vox mode so I'll show you the settings, if you tap settings here and then we'll go close up to the settings. So it's just call sign now. To get settings, like I said, you just tap here. Call sign, we've put in our grid square. I haven't touched the auto frequency. The radio I've selected is FTDX10 at the moment. And we've selected control as Vox. If we, get, if we plug in the USB cable and select cat, it works. It starts to change the frequency. Now, the thing I haven't worked out is how to actually get it to transmit um, via the cat cable but via Vox my you know my guess is you just literally just push the PTT on your microphone so anyway let's keep going down frequency and if you have the cat cable it will change automatically you can select it here and select it on the radio I've left the board rate for now but we we can change the board rate again when using cat cable then we go to decode here at the bottom left decode so what you're seeing is the waterfall but you're seeing all the core signs of activity scrolling down which is quite cool isn't it there's all your activity now to TX you hold down the station and you click core receiver and it will start to TX on it automatically up here you've got it. now can you hear that? that noise is actually coming from my tablet and the I I don't know this but the idea is that now I could key my mic put it into auto key every time I've thought about doing using Vox someone said well why can't you use Vox well the problem is that Vox would right now be activated by by you know by all of the sound so I've got my auto lock here on my M70 if I auto lock it then I'm effectively just picking up the audio so try it out see what you think I am going to get my cable and see and show that working as well but this is like the Vox video now we've got some other functions here, we've got a big spectrum. Back to calling, there's maps here. See the maps? You can zoom in. Let's find. Looks like it's upside down, isn't it? Scroll in, you can move the map. Let's tap it here. Well, it does say M0FXB was transmitting. So let's uh, try it again on the next go. I'll put the link in to download this. So at the moment I'm manually transmitting. And then I just let go. It's definitely got my call sign. Twenty watts we're doing. Data USB. I do like these M70 microphones, they're just very smart. You know, they don't cost much. Now you, it, it works on all my Yaesu radios. D key. Right, let's go back. We tap this here and look, we get a, a window of transmission there. Transmitting now.
do Q. Back to the map. See the way that appears when you first hit the map? You have that grid up here on the overlay the map. There's some settings up here as well. So have a little tinker, see what you think. What we're showing here, some station going across there to America. DK. And I'll dig out my cable. You can stop it transmitting as well. Changing the frequency when you've got the cat cable. You tap these three lines here. Signal output. See that? So I'm guessing that's a way of changing your ALC. Is that me again? So I'm doing this one handed so it's a bit fiddly. Yeah, someone's actually transmitting to me. Look at that. It's working good, isn't it? That's it, do key. So manual way of doing things. Now, I can't really tell if I've had a contact, to be honest. You know, we've got some highlighted red here, TX, TX. I'm not seeing a transmission there, are we? Okay, well, I think that's enough for now. Just wanted to show you. So we're in USB, but we're not seeing transmission. So let me know what you think. Bye for now, 7-3.